All right, Sunday afternoon, kind of early. I have been fighting with my computer and my GoPro and everything else this morning. I'm done with that mess. I'm uh, I'm gonna do some Bondo work. And I think Mrs. Heavy Chevy, as soon as she gets back, is gonna sand the roof. Get that paint off her with the mud hog. That's the plan anyway. Also, while she's doing that, I gotta put a water pump in that Chevy truck I got. You know, sometimes I do things when I'm in the mood for it, and I'm not really in the mood for it, but if she can work on that, and I can do that, it'll be a good thing. We'll get that accomplished. Anyway, let me uh, get my stuff together here. I just spent another 30 minutes fighting with that GoPro. I can't get it to work with my phone. Anyway, I'm done fooling with that. I got a work to do. I tried my best to make that stupid GoPro work, but it won't do right, so. Anyway, I started out with this, but there's a lot of paint on that roof, a lot. So then, I went to this on a seven inch grinder, and for some reason it loads that paper up. But check this out, I got this at a, uh, I think an auction or something. Look at these old discs. 3M Company. Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. They don't say that no more, do they? It's pretty cool, I think. No telling how old it is. Anyway, I got, I got a whole big stack of them. Might as well use them up. Oh yeah, see there? Rust! Good gracious, look at all the dust. Almost looks like that snow whaling wire I got up here in Washington. Maybe we better blow some of this way. Now I'm going to whip up some uh, short strand fiberglass and cover up all my little imperfections there. And the conventional wisdom is it seals it off and waterproofs it in case you got holes in your welds. Which I may have since I can't see so good no more. You know, I guess I could have bought one of them fancy things that mix Bondo up on. That darn lens cap. Alright, here's what we had did. Ooh, that's still kind of tacky there. We mixed up some, uh, I always call it tiger hair, but this isn't tiger hair, it's some other kind. We got that on there. This is not tacky. And Mrs. Heavy Chevy, looking fine, is going to fire up the mud hog up there. And she is not going to sand this. We're just going to let that sit for now, but her endeavor is to get the paint off the roof. Right? Yeah. Say something for the people. You have a stool. What? I'm not as tall as you. What? You have a stool. You have to stand right there. That's what I did. Or, if you wanted to, you could sit down for a period right there. Right there, on the package tray. But what you can't do is stand on the roof. You could put your knees here if you wanted. A little bit, it's pretty strong there. Bang! Bang!
this thing up and started fooling with it, but I didn't really accomplish anything yet. But anyway, Mrs. Heavy Chevy took the trim off the trunk and look what Grandpa used to put the, the Chevrolet on. Even Mrs. Heavy Chevy shakes her head about that one. What? Huh? Ain't that pretty? That's pretty stuff, isn't it? Pretty, pretty stinky stuff. Pretty green. I don't really care for it. We're not sandblasting the roof. We're going to treat it with Oswald and see what happens. I did that on the black Trans Am and the paint didn't come off yet. So we're hoping for the best. All right, it's another weekend. It's Sunday afternoon, kind of late. I haven't done doodly till now. Yesterday I had some Christmas parties to go to. And today I'm feeling a little off. A little off. Anyway, I got to do something though. So, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is, I've been procrastinating. I need to put this car back together so I can move it. Is what I need to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got parts. Hey, you look right there. Set of shocks for a '63 Impala off the front. Mm -hmm. All right, I got this radiator and cooler and condenser all hitched back up, and I had to build a radiator hose because when it was on it, it was all cut up. But now I've got to devise something for the air and a mass airflow sensor and I can't find enough stuff around here to do it so I gotta get cleaned up this time of year seems like there's always something I gotta do but that's okay that's okay I gotta get cleaned up and gotta go out to a fancy restaurant tonight and you know I guess I better do it so I'll have to do some other stuff and add it to this video I reckon I got some oil changes to do. Done one on a Subaru the other day. Got a Suburban and a Mercedes to do. 